Good evening, dear listeners. Tonight, I invite you to join me on a journey unlike any other. A journey back in time to the enchanting land of medieval Scotland. Allow the worries of today to fade as we step through the mists of history, guided by the mysterious figure known as the Time Traveler. Together, we'll explore ancient villages, serene forests, and hear tales that have echoed through the ages. So make yourself comfortable dim or turn out the lights and take a few moments to settle in to some deep breaths. This is your reminder that you deserve to rest. You deserve to recover repair, and renew. Continue your deep, easy breathing. Notice any lingering tension from the day. Imagine those places of tension melting easing, softening. Allow any racing thoughts to gently slow and drift by like leaves in a stream. And now, your tale begins. As the night settles around you, a sense of quiet and calm blankets your room, transforming it into your own private sanctuary. The gentle hum of the outside world fades into the background, leaving you enveloped in the soft embrace of solitude. You're nestled comfortably in your bed, the mattress cradling you, the blanket lying just heavy enough across your body, your pillows propped up to support you. Everything is arranged just as you like it for a restful night. The lights dimmed to a soothing glow, inviting you to let go of the day's worries. Your nightly routine would not be complete without making your way through another chapter or two of a book. You reach out to your bedside table, making contact with your most recent purchase from the used bookstore. The thick tome, a curious anomaly amidst the familiar paperbacks you've favored. Its leather cover is weathered with age, adorned with intricate gold designs that seem to dance in the dim light. Your fingers slowly trace the embossed patterns on the cover. The texture is peculiar, cool and smooth. Opening the book, you are greeted by the title page printed on aged paper with ornamental lettering, which reads, 
The Chronomancer's Atlas. A title that piqued your curiosity at the shop and now encouraged a further look through. You turn past the table of contents, settling more comfortably into the pillows behind you and begin to read the smaller print that heads the page. Chapter One, The Heathered Hills. Blinking, you find yourself standing in the middle of a dirt road, winding through the mists of an early morning that seems suspended in time. The air is cool and fresh, filled with the scent of ancient pines and the distant sound of a world just waking, a direct contrast to the bedroom you were in just a moment before. You're not sure what compels you to start following this path. Perhaps it's bold curiosity, or maybe a sense of destiny pulling at the edges of your consciousness. As the sun begins to rise, casting its first golden rays through the trees, you come upon an imposing structure that appears almost unreal in its translucence. As you approach, you observe that the stone walls are covered in ivy and moss. The door stands ajar, as if expecting you, inviting you into its depths where small lanterns beckon you further. Stepping inside, the ambiance shifts around you. The outside world fades away, leaving only the vast, shadowy halls of what appears to be an ancient library. The air is thick with the aroma of vellum leather, and the promise of forgotten knowledge. It's here, among these towering shelves, laden with books of every conceivable subject and age, that you encounter the Time Traveler. Clad in robes that shimmer with deep blues and purples, the Time Traveler turns to greet you. Their appearance is striking, yet they offer you a gentle smile that eases your apprehension. They move with a grace that belies their age, an age you sense is far greater than their appearance might foretell. Ah, you've arrived. They say, I've been expecting you. Welcome to the Time Traveler's Library, a place where the past, present, and future converge. Here, the boundaries of time are but pages to be turned. As they guide you through the library, their hands occasionally brush against the spines of the books, each touch seeming to awaken whispers of stories eager to be told. The Time Traveler explains that this library is not just a repository of knowledge, but a gateway to the lives and experiences of those who have come before and those yet to be. Each book, they say, is a door to another time and place, waiting only for the right reader to open it and step through. The time traveler slows their measured walk and gently comes to a stop before reaching for a book covered in dark green linen. 
Our first voyage together will take us to the Scottish Highlands during the Middle Ages, they announce, their voice tinged with excitement. Are you ready? You impulsively take a step closer to the robed figure in front of you and nod your head, unafraid. As the book opens, a light emanates from within its pages, and you are basked in a warmth that begins on your face and continues on through your muscle to the very core of your being. The library around you fades as the luminous portal conjured by the book envelops you. The sensation of time unraveling is both exhilarating and a little disorienting. In a moment that stretches into eternity, you are transported, the time traveler's presence a constant by your side. As the last veils of mist fade away, you find yourself on the bustling outskirts of a medieval Scottish village, its lifeblood flowing vibrantly through the market at the heart of the community. The air resonates with a cacophony of sounds, the hearty laughter of villagers clad in wool and linen, the rhythmic clang of the blacksmith's hammer shaping iron into tools and horseshoes, and the soft bleeding of livestock. The time traveler encourages you to breathe deeply, taking in the scents of peat smoke from nearby homes, the sweetness of fresh bannocks from a baker's stall, and the earthy aroma of leather and woodwork. As you wander through the market, it takes a few moments for your feet to acclimate to the uneven cobblestones, worn smooth by countless footsteps over the years. The time traveler paints a vivid picture of the scene before you you're immediately drawn to the patterns on dyed cloth and tapestries, denoting clan affiliations and status. You're encouraged to touch the merchandise, a piece of tartan fabric, the coarse hair of a goat's hide, and the intricate carvings on wooden utensils and bowls. A group of musicians captures your attention, their fingers skillfully dancing over the strings of a cithara, their voices producing harmonies that have echoed through the glens for generations. A friendly merchant, spotting your curiosity, offers you a piece of oatcake, its texture coarse yet satisfying. Feeling content with your exploration of the market, you follow the time traveler's lead, venturing beyond the village boundaries and into the surrounding countryside. The sky is a dynamic canvas where brooding clouds race across a backdrop of deep blue casting shadows that dance over the land. The landscape opens up, a patchwork of fields enclosed by low stone walls, each field a testament to the arduous work of clearing stones to create arable land. The hills are dotted with clusters of sheep, grazing under the watchful eye of a shepherd, their wool a vital resource for the village's weavers. In the distance, you can just make out the shimmering surface of a loch, surrounded by willows and silver birch. The further you walk, 
the more the sounds of the market fade, replaced by the tranquil sounds of nature, the whispering of the wind through the trees, and the distant call of a bird. As you continue your journey, the path gradually leads away from the open fields and towards the dense, whispering expanse of a highland forest. The transition from the cultivated landscapes to the wild beauty of the highlands is seamless yet profound. The forest stands as a testament to the ancient, untouched Scotland a realm where nature reigns supreme and history whispers from every shadowed nook. The canopy above is a patchwork quilt of green with rays of sunlight piercing through to dance on the forest floor. The air is cooler here, filled with the scent of spruce and Scots pine. The time traveler's voice, warm and reassuring, encourages you to pause and listen to the forest symphony. The rustle of leaves stirred by a gentle breeze. The distant sound of water cascading over rocks and the soft cooing of doves. This natural music untouched by the passage of time, allows you to connect with the wilderness on an almost spiritual level. As you venture deeper, you catch glimpses of the forest's inhabitants, a red deer peering through the foliage, its antlers blending with the branches, or a swift hare darting through the underbrush. The time traveler shares tales of the highland forests being home to wolves and wildcats, creatures that once roamed freely across Scotland, embodying the untamed spirit of the land. The forest is not just a place of beauty and mystery. It's a vital part of Scottish heritage. The woods provide shelter and resources. The trees were once the source of timber for building, firewood for warmth and cooking, and plants and herbs for medicine. The forest also serves as a hidden refuge during times of war and conflict, a place where warriors could regroup and where secrets could be kept safe. Eventually, you come across a lichen-covered log and sit, taking a moment for reflection, to feel the deep connection between the land and its people. After your brief rest, you reluctantly bid farewell to the forest the path beneath your feet gradually becoming more defined, leading you back towards the fringes of human habitation. The dense canopy gives way to a clearing where the last vestige of sunlight warmly greets you, painting the landscape with vibrant hues. As you emerge from the forest's edge, you spot a small cluster of stone cottages in the distance. Smoke curls lazily from chimneys into the sky, a sign of life and activity within. As you make your way towards the nearest cottage, the sound of metal striking stone reaches your ears. Turning towards the source, you see a figure engaged in the age-old craft of stone masonry, meticulously shaping a piece of rock. 
dressed in simple yet sturdy clothing, the local looks up from their work, noticing your approach with a mix of curiosity and caution. You greet the local with a friendly nod, bridging the gap between stranger and guest without words. The mason, after a moment's hesitation, offers a smile in return, setting aside their tools. They introduce themselves in a thick Scottish brogue, their voice imbued with a warmth that echoes the hospitable nature of the Scottish people. Intrigued by your unfamiliar attire and the air of otherworldliness about you, they extend an invitation to their home, promising shelter and a meal, a gesture of goodwill that transcends time and place. Their cottage is modest, its walls thick and sturdy with a thatched roof overhead. A warm glow spills from the windows, and the scent of cooking wafts through the air, inviting and comforting. Stepping inside, you're enveloped by the cozy atmosphere of the home. A fire crackles in the hearth, casting flickering shadows across the simple yet lovingly maintained interior. The air is filled with the aroma of peat from the fire and the stew bubbling over it. The mason, with weathered hands, gestures for you to take a seat at a sturdy wooden table. You look around and notice that the room is filled with the simple furnishings of medieval life. A spinning wheel in the corner, handcrafted tools hanging on the walls, and woven blankets draping the furniture. The mason stokes the fire, ensuring its heat fills the room. As the stew is served, a hearty concoction of root vegetables and barley, the mason begins to share tales of local legends and lore. He speaks of the Kelpies, shape-shifting water spirits believed to inhabit the lochs and rivers nearby. He warns with a twinkle in his eye of their enchanting beauty in horse form, designed to lure unsuspecting victims to a watery demise. His tale then shifts to the Kaliach, the ancient hag of winter, the mason describes how she uses her staff to freeze the ground and how the landscapes of Scotland bear the marks of her handiwork. Yet, he also speaks of her as the mother of mountains, highlighting their respect for the natural world. With a more somber tone, the mason recounts tales of battles fought across the Scottish highlands of clan feuds that shaped the land and its people. You learn of figures like Robert the Bruce and William Wallace, their names forever etched in the annals of Scottish history. These stories are not just of conflict, but of bravery, honor, and a deep sense of loyalty. As the fire dwindles to glowing embers, the evening of tales comes to a gentle close and the time traveler's presence fades to a gentle voice in the back of your mind. The mason, insisting you stay till morning, shows you to a small room with a simple bed, its frame filled with straw and wild heather and covered with handmade quilts. The window, small and shuttered, offers one last glimpse of the now starlit sky over Scotland. You pull back the covers and climb into the bed, finding it surprisingly comfortable. 
the stone walls of the mason's cottage, sturdy and silent, seem to hold within them the whispers of centuries, offering a sense of security and belonging. Outside your room, the night has come alive with its own chorus. The distant hoot of an owl, the subtle rustle of the wind through the trees, and even the soft, rhythmic breathing of the house's occupant. Each sound a note in the lullaby of the Scottish countryside. These sounds, so foreign yet familiar, weave a tapestry of peace around you, grounding you in the here and the now, while also connecting you to the vast expanse of time and space that you've traveled to arrive here. The candle on your bedside table flickers, casting shadows that dance across the stone walls, a silent ballet that mesmerizes. As your eyelids grow heavy, the tales of the evening the legends of Scotland, and the soothing presence of the time traveler blend into the fabric of your dreams. You're invited to let go, to allow the magic of the night and the ancient land to guide you into a restful sleep filled with visions of rolling hills, misty locks, and enchanted forests. Your breathing slows and takes on a deep, even rhythm. In the last moments before sleep claims you, the time traveler makes a gentle promise that the doorways through time remain open, that the stories and spirits of Scotland will always be there to welcome you back. As you finally succumb to the depths of sleep, the world of medieval Scotland with all its legends, beauty, and the warmth of its people, cradles you in a rest that is both deep and rejuvenating. Here in the heart of the night, you find respite from the cares of the modern world and a connection to a past that is vivid and alive.